Hi guys. It is another frosty moonlit night here as we wait for the first snowfall in a few days. But right now it is a beautiful evening. Looking at 65 and sunny tomorrow, I'm thrilled to say. But it is, what is tonight? It is Wednesday, November 9th, 2022. And uh, I was going to uh, take the bait of some email I just got, but I'm going to let that pass. All, all I have to say about uh, eating seafood, if, if anybody, if, if you still eat seafood, you clueless fucking moron, okay, especially if you're one of these people who call themselves a vegetarian, yet I still eat seafood. That's kind of like my sister is a seafood eating vegetarian. Anybody who still eats seafood, there's two things you need to do. You need to watch End of the Line, and you need to watch Sea Spiracy. And after watching those two documentaries, if you still eat seafood and are suffering some fucking clueless moron delusion uh, about sustainable seafood or under this greenwashing horse shit, uh, then you are a, a morally reprehensible uh, just zombie. Anyway, enough of seafood. We've been through the sea spiracy and end of the line rants. But, uh, <laughs> guys, this has, I don't think this has anything to do with seafood. You know, occasionally a a headline comes out of the main, comes out of the mainstream media, and, and I, you know, I'm sorry for these folks, uh, but we're, this is about the latest Airbnb tragedy. Many versions of this story. This is NBC News, where the headline says it all. Three Americans found dead at Airbnb in Mexico on trip <laughs> to celebrate, you guessed it, Day of the Dead. <laughs> These three friends went down to Mexico to celebrate the Day of the Dead, got themselves an Airbnb, and uh, well, I guess they celebrated. I, I guess they got what they were we're looking for in Mexico, but you know, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, it just doesn't get any better than that. Anyone with an appreciation for absurd, ironic black humor, uh, this might have to be right up there. I mean, the onion. The Onion could not have come up with this headline. Absolutely priceless. Don't even need to read the article. The uh, <laughs> headline says it all. I guess they died of carbon monoxide poisoning. And some debate on whether my heater in the tiny house uh, up the hill uh, makes carbon monoxide or not, but so far I'm still alive. I have not joined the Day of the Dead yet, anyway. But anyway, I'm gonna get back to Netflix now. So, uh, sounds like it wasn't quite the disaster on the on the dog and pony show on this side of the pond, at least. So maybe Civil War and uh, this outright fascist, uh, in-your-face fascist dictatorship has been held off for another couple of years, at least till 2024. So, uh, Civil War. Rather, there was a story right next to this one about this dude on Saturday who shot and killed his next-door neighbor because he thought he was a Democrat. <clears throat> <laughs> Can't 
killed the dude. He was out mowing his lawn, got a bullet through his head because his Trump tar next door neighbor thought he was a Democrat. And for that, uh, I guess he was trying to uh, keep the guy from voting. That's a good way to keep someone from voting. Put a bullet through their head. Anyway, life goes on. That's all. Bye, guys. Yes, little dog, that was easy.